In this video, we will talk about what's included in the affiliated program agreement. We will talk about the body. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Okay, welcome. Welcome to another video of what do you need to put into your affiliated program agreements. And we talked in a previous video about some things that you need to put into the agreement, like um, the compensation, who's responsible for what, and other stuff. If you didn't know that, look at the other videos. But today we're going to talk about the last part. Like I said, I'm not going to discuss every agreement in this um, contract, but I'm going to show you what you need to keep in mind. So how does it work? So a little bit to recap, when you have an agreement, a fated air program, most time you have people who want to participate in your agreement or in your program, let's say, and they follow the requirements and then they sign a contract. So this is the contract. And most time in a contract, you have the intro. I talked about it in the previous video and then you have the body we talk about it in the previous uh, videos and you have the outro so the outro we will talk about it in the next video i talk about in this is the third part where i talk about the body i talk about some um some agreements that you need to put into the body so keep in mind you have the intro body and outro and we are here the second part of the body and like I said, I'm not going to discuss everything about the template or every agreement. But here, we're going to talk about something that's really important. And people don't understand why it's important. But here you see the system. Someone is applying for the affiliated. And they sign a contract. And they have a contract. As soon as they bring customer, they get the percentage. Right? That's technically how it works. The thing is, if we zoom in here, you have this person. Let's say this person is a YouTuber or this person is a blogger or this person is an, um, yeah, a famous person. Yeah. As soon as the person is promoting this, um, the services of product, the person can become the face. It depends on the community. Yeah. But if the person is a YouTuber blogger, they create content. When you create content, most of the time you have copyright on it. The person can be also a brand. What I mean by that is when the person become a brand, yeah, if the product, if something happened with the product or services, it can affect the person. That's also something you need to keep in mind. That's why it's important to look if you participate in an affiliate program, what are the rules about intellectual property? And if you are creating an affiliate program, you need to make some rules about intellectual property. For example, the brand. For example, the content. Are you going to transfer every content to the on to the company, or what? That's also important to know. Most time, if you do that, they need to ask for more. If you are a content creator, so technically, when you look at this, you need to look. Um, you need to make sure. Okay, what is the affiliate marketing program agreement? What is that? What's in it about it? So here you see in a here you see in a program or in a agreement you see some examples of what you can put about trademark and other stuff in here. It's a long thing. I'm not going to read everything, but I'm just showing you why you need to make some agreements um, about uh, intellectual property. So you see here trademarks and copyrights. You need to make some agreements about that because it's important to know what belongs to them and what belongs to you when you are talking about affiliate um, program and product availability we're not going to talk about that and responsibility make some rules about responsibility who is responsible for what and here you see an example of it you can make rules about that really easy to do warrants terms yeah and termination and this is the important part in my opinion let's say you want to get rid of someone it's important to have some rules about termination um, termination of a contract and how you're going to do it yeah 
if that's not clear then you can have a big problem if you want to get rid of someone and that's something you need to keep in mind so technically this is the last part of the body i'm not going to discuss everything and as you can see in the template you have a lot of things that you can talk about and but i'm not going to talk about all those things explain it because it's going to be boring yeah so keep in mind these things you can put in it if there's something in a contract you'll be like okay hey i don't understand that feel free to contact me go to the law center and there you can ask me a question about it and i will see if i can help you or not so new if you're new here subscribe see you next video